everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Veil. Vale. I'm Jessica. In today's video, I'll be doing another Foundation Friday. Now, this one is a little bit different. It is not a full blown foundation. I mean, I've done BB cream, CC creams, that sort of thing before. I've done um, just very lightweight foundations. This. I believe, I will read it to you in a minute from the website, but I believe this is more of just a tinted moisturizer. Um, so we're gonna see how it works. Now, before I read what it was, I've already put, uh, I've sprayed my face down with Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist, which would have been fine, but I also put on some primer, which again, I'm sure is fine, but this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I have that on my skin as well. Those are the two things that I've already done to my face. Um, so. There's that. I don't know that the primer is going to really mess up any sort of tinted moisturizer or anything like that, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to wear some pretty uh, lightweight makeup today. So um, I am going to be putting on some makeup, but I'm going to be putting on some pretty lightweight stuff. So this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. I'm not sure if I told you what it was yet, but this is the Moisturizing Retinol Treatment with Sunscreen SPF 20. So reading from the website, they do only have six shades, at least on the Neutrogena website. They only have six shades. Several are sold out right now because I am filming this before Mother's Day. I think this is posting the Friday after Mother's Day, I think. I think so. I think this is posting the Friday after Mother's Day, but I'm filming it before Mother's Day. So right now, Neutrogena on their website is running a Mother's Day sale. Um, but the details of this product, it says, turn back the clock. Using the power of retinol and SPF 20, our tinted moisturizer is clinically proven to smooth skin's texture and reduce the appearance of fine lines, even after you take it off. Easily blendable with sheer coverage for younger, natural looking skin with a dewy finish. It's perfect for everyday use and works across all skin tones. So I do have it in the lightest shade. It's Ivory de Fair 10. Um, I am going to be applying this. Let's see how it says to apply. It says how to use. Apply with fingers or a sponge all over the face for beautiful, younger looking skin. So I typically, when I'm doing a foundation review, I will use a sponge on half of my face and a brush on the other half. I do have my brush here. We'll see. Um, I, I usually do use my brush. So I'm going to try it out with my brush first and then we're going to put on the sponge. I usually go over my entire face with the sponge though to even out all of the skin tone or all of the uh, finish, excuse me. So again, we're going to go ahead in with this. I like a lighter coverage foundation though. So this might actually work really, really well for me uh, if it's not too dark. It's looking pretty dark to be honest with you. So it is the lightest shade and we'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead in. I already read to you from the website. I already primed my skin. I think it's now time to get started. All right, I feel like I'm forgetting something. All right, it is kind of dark, but I'm hoping as it blends out, it will even out the redness on my skin and not be too dark for my neck. Otherwise, I'll just have to pull it down my neck. So it has a slight scent of sunscreen which is okay. A sunscreen scent doesn't bother me. It makes me think of the beach and I would really, really like to be at the beach right now. Although where I'm at in Pennsylvania, the closest beaches are all closed. So there's none of that. Maybe by the time this is posting, fingers crossed, it will be, things will start to open up, but we'll see. It all depends on what's best for everybody. So, all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish blending this in with my brush and then I'm also going to go ahead and do the other side with my sponge and I will be back in just a moment. It's definitely dark. I'm going to have to pull this down my neck. I'm definitely looking a little tan. Definitely looking a little tan. All right, I'm going to go ahead and blend this in and I'll be right back. Initial application, I'm not loving it. I don't feel like it's given me pretty much any coverage at all. I think the only thing that it's really done is make me look tanner. And I think it gave me a glow. So, I mean, if you're looking for just a glow, I think this would work just fine. Um, I am gonna be putting concealer on. I'm gonna be putting that on, a, on my under eyes. I'm probably gonna be putting it all over my nose and along the center part of my cheeks because that's where I have a lot of redness. Um, I might have to use more than just that because this is so dark. I mean, if you look at my eye, my eyelids, <laughs> my eyelids are really, really pale compared to this foundation. So I did bring it down my neck. You can see there that I brought it down to my collar line. Um, definitely looking like I, I just did a partial tan. Um, 
So that kind of is a little bit stinky because I am planning on going out into the world today. Um, it's going to be like 77, 78, 79 degrees, somewhere in there. And I just have a t-shirt and like uh, yoga pants, not yoga pants. I don't know, workout pants, um, leggings on. Um, and we're going to planning on going for a walk. And if, the, if like yesterday was any indication, because we went for a walk yesterday, there were a ton of people out. So um, yeah. I'm going to look kind of funny. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put on the rest of my makeup. Let's see what time it is. It is 10.45. So we're going to go ahead and call 11 o'clock check-in time. So I will check in at 3 o'clock and then again at 7 o'clock. Um, I think it feels all right on my skin. Actually, I think it feels pretty nice on my skin, to be honest with you. Let's see. And it's pretty much drying. I'm not going to powder this. I'm not going to powder this. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my under eyes. Just a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. Um... And then I'm just going to do some pretty natural makeup, I think. I'm going to do some pretty mad natural makeup. I'm going to try at least. So I'm not going to use too much. I got a lot of neutral -y colors down here. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. My, my face is getting itchy, though, so that's never a good sign. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, it is 11.07, so, you know. It is 11.07. Okay, let's talk about the other things that I put on my face and let's talk about this foundation then. Okay, so I did end up using concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Concealer in Fair. I have it on my under eyes. I have it on my nose. I put a dab on my upper lip a couple of dabs on my chin and a couple of dabs on my forehead just to brighten my T-zone because... I am orange. I actually went downstairs and said to my husband, do I look weird? Because I think it looks really, really pink, really, really orange. Um, and he agreed that it, you could, he could definitely tell that uh, my face was not the right shade. Anyway, um, he said, really, you could tell back here. So let me grab my sponge real quick and see if I can get just a little bit back here. And what he said was, he said, you know, it's just not really covering anything. He said, you look like you have absolutely no coverage on. All you look like is that you turned kind of orange. Not normally what someone is looking for in a foundation or even a tinted moisturizer, to be honest with you. All right. So I ended up putting a little bit of powder just on the areas that I put the um, concealer. So a little bit on, sorry, it wasn't shut, on my under eyes, a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my uh, forehead, and then just a dab on my, my chin. And all I really did was just dab my, uh, swirled my uh, blush or my powder brush in this. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you what this is. This is the um, Physician's Formula Mineral Correcting Powder. Um, swirled my brush in it, and then I just touched those areas. I didn't even go back in a second time for more powder. So just enough to just sort of put a little bit of setting on that. Um, in my brows, I have the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in Taupe. Um, I sprayed my face down with MAC Fix Plus. I have the NYX. This is the Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I have this shade right here, which has a number. It doesn't have a, well, it does have a name. Okay, hold on. So I have this shade right here, which is 07, which is Sculpt. And then I have this shade right here is my highlighter, which is 01, which is Ice Queen. So those are the two shades from this palette that I used. I used it just to do a little bit of sculpting on my chin, and then that is my highlighter as well. And then my blush, I'm using the Flower um, Pots Powder Blush in Sweet Pea as my blush. Um, on my lips, I have the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. My la uh, lashes, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. That is not my favorite mascara. It is very, very wet, and I don't like wet found, uh, let wet mascaras. Some people love that, like love it, love it. I don't. And then on my, my lids, I literally have two shades from my Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. I have the matte brown, which is in Aquarius, and then I have the Taurus shimmer um just patted on my lid i have aquarius all over the lid and then just on my lid proper i had i patted taurus um and that's all i did on my lids um that's everything that is absolutely everything that is on my face so just a really like you know light makeup day 
Anyway, let's zoom you in and we can talk about the foundation or the tinted moisturizer. I will say this, I like the glowy look that it's giving me right now. I'm a little concerned about what this is gonna look like in eight hours because it is very, very glowy. And I think it looks really nice. I think it look, makes me look younger, I'm gonna be honest. I do think it did that to me, um, but I'm very worried what this is gonna look like in eight hours. Very, very, very worried about what this is gonna look like in eight hours. It is starting to crack on my chin already. You guys can't see it on this camera, but I will try to pick that up midday. So it is starting to crack on my chin already. And it's just kind of like laying on all my imperfections. Not loving it, um, especially with the t the color of it being so orange on me. Um, I'm, I'm really, I, I would almost rather just go without makeup, to be honest with you. I think it looks nice. I would actually almost rather go without makeup and just get like a glowy powder foundation um, to brush all over my face than than this right now i might love it by the end of the day i'm not seeing that as a possibility and part of that is because i look orange um part of that is because it is like it's just such a light coverage but yet it's like falling into areas on my chin that i don't like and um my chin is very itchy um and i i've i've gotten some comments from you all before that if if your skin feels itchy with a foundation or a product it's probably that i'm allergic to something in the product i don't know what that could be um I just, I don't know what that could be. That would be causing me to be itchy with this. So I don't know. Anyway, that's where we're at a little bit after 11 o'clock in the morning. I am gonna go ahead about my day. Like I said, we're planning on going for a walk today, like a decent walk in a couple of hours. I have some, uh, this is actually, I'm filming this on the weekend, but I do have some work work to do. I call it work work and YouTube work, but today I have work work to do, um, which I gotta do probably for about two hours or so is what I'm gonna be putting in for work work. Um, but my goal is to eat some brunch because I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So I'm gonna have some brunch right now. Um, like I said, it's about 11.15, but I have some brunch. I'm going to uh, work work. And then uh, later on this afternoon, I'm gonna go for a walk. It's supposed to be in the high 70s. So I'm very much looking forward to that and getting out in the sun and getting some vitamin D. So that is where we're at right now. I'm liking it, but not liking it. Does that make sense? I'm liking the glowiness of it. I'm liking how it makes, I do think it makes me look younger. Um, but I'm not loving it at the same time because it's really making my chin very itchy and it's starting to get cracked up. So that's where we're at right now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead about my day. I will check in at three o'clock and then again at seven o'clock um, and we'll see what, we'll see how it goes. See you then. All right, you guys, I just finished work work. I don't even know what time it is. I know I'm late. I know that for sure. What time is it? I think my dog is trying to get outside. It is 3.30, so I'm a half an hour late. I have not even had a chance to look at this foundation yet or this tinted moisturizer yet. So let's go in the sun. I will show it to you and I will take a look at it. It is gorgeous out today. I can't wait to go for a walk. I'm about to leave my house and go for a walk. So I'm also about to get stung by a hornet. Okay, it flew away. Yes, all right, that is what my skin looks like. So I'm gonna step back into the shadows so that I can actually see the, the uh, tinted moisturizer because I can't see it in direct sunlight. So. Let's talk about it. Hmm. Well, my hair is sticking my face, which I'm not loving, but that is okay. Hmm. All right. So, I will say this. I think it looks about the same as when I put it on. So it has not changed really. I have a couple of little spots where I'm not sure if that's mascara or what's going on, like right in here. Um, but like my chin, it looks basically the same as when I first put this stuff on, but I think it really actually looks pretty decent. Um, it's not cracked up in a bunch of areas. I think my forehead looks pretty good. I think my cheeks look pretty good. Let me grab my mirror again, just to double check. I'm trying not to break my mirror. Once I, since I broke that one mirror a couple weeks ago, I've been really uh, hesitant about that. But yeah, I'm getting some fallout on this mascara, which isn't fun. But I think my forehead looks good. I think my cheeks look pretty good. I think my nose looks pretty good. Hmm. Probably my biggest problem is my chin, as normal. And the shade. The shade, I'm definitely looking orange. So, 
that's where we're at midday. I know this is a short check-in. I just got finished with work work, so I'm in a good mood because I just logged off that. Uh, I was in a crappy mood about an hour ago, but just logged off that, so I'm, I'm in a pretty good mood right now. So I am gonna go ahead, throw on some sneakers. I think we're gonna go down. There is a lake down like about two miles from us, and I think we're gonna go for a walk around the lake. The, the sun is hot. The temperature is beautiful. There's a little bit of wind. It is just absolutely gorgeous here today. So I'm gonna go for a walk and I will see you guys at seven o'clock tonight. Hopefully I don't sweat too much. We'll see, but I do have some SPF on. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right, you guys, so I am a little bit late, 7.12, not too bad. Just a couple minutes after seven o'clock. So let's talk about this. Um, this is a tinted moisturizer. It's not a foundation, but I am quite shiny. You'll, you'll see that I have little nose marks. Uh, we did go for a really nice walk, um, over 6,000 steps. So that was really nice. Um, it is gorgeous outside today. Unfortunately, it's supposed to drop by 10 degrees tomorrow. So, you know, life in Pennsylvania in springtime. Um, but it was so nice out today. We went out and there's a little lake down the street from where we live and they stock it with trout and it's catch and release. So there was a lot of people fishing, properly distanced, of course, but there were a lot of people fishing and it was really, really nice. People out walking for walks, out on bicycles. It was just really, 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 really gorgeous today. Um, it still is. It's only seven o'clock or 7.15 and it is still extremely gorgeous outside. I'm actually thinking about taking my bike out um for bicycle not motorcycle <laughs> not that adventurous um just for a quick ride around the neighborhood uh probably not going to do that though because i have a basket of brushes i need to wash yeah so i'm probably not going to go for a bike ride i would have liked to but i don't think i'm going to do that so anyway let's talk about the foundation i'm shiny I'm shiny, but I've been shiny the whole day. I don't think it's obnoxiously shiny. Um, it's, I don't feel like it's like tremendously more shiny than what it was earlier today. Um, it definitely didn't hold up to the sunglasses, but because it's such light coverage, I don't think it's terribly obvious. I mean, it's definitely, you can look and see them, but if you're not like looking for them, you might miss it kind of a thing. Um, I don't feel like this broke up. My nose is just really sh shiny. So I'm having a little bit hard time seeing how well the nose is still covered. And now I did put concealer on my nose to help out with coverage though. Um, my chin looks exactly the same as it did earlier. Um, yeah, I think my upper look, upper lip looks pretty good. Uh, my cheeks look great. It, it takes a really bad foundation to make my cheeks look bad. My, my skin on my cheeks is about the best skin that I've got. Um, it takes a really bad foundation to make those look bad. And my forehead looks pretty good too. Again, I only have that one major line on my forehead. Um, my nose is sometimes iffy. Sometimes foundations just don't stick to my nose and my chin is my major problem area. But for this one, I don't think it's looking bad. I think I think my um, thumbnail is going to have me looking all like perplexed or concerned, but overall I was not thrilled with this earlier today, especially with it being so orange. But um, as the day has gone on, I, I haven't minded it as much as I did initially, um, especially once my entire face was done up and I had like all my makeup on, I thought it looked better than it did when I first put it on. Um, I'm definitely looking tan, which is a nice change for me. Uh, I'm not always this tan, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video. But overall, I don't think it's terrible. I was very concerned about when I first put it on, but the longer that I've worn it, the less concerned that I am. I actually don't think it looks too bad, actually. Um, I was gonna film a quick unboxing video, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that until tomorrow, just because I am so shiny. Um, I think I could probably get away with it if I decided to just go ahead and put some lipstick on, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that unboxing. I'll film it tomorrow, so it's okay. Um, but overall, I don't know. I'm not hating it. When the when I first put this on, I was not liking it at all, but now that I've had it on for a little while or, well, eight hours, um, I'm not minding it, and I'm not getting itchy anymore. When I first put it on, I had my whole, like, chin was itchy, and I'm not having, I haven't had that at all uh at all for the last several hours several hours so anyway i think this is actually not too bad for a no makeup makeup day if you just want something to make you look kind of you know 
awake or alive. If you're if you're feeling like you're got a dull skin day and you want something to just make you look a little bit more awake and you want to have it on for a few hours, um, this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector probably isn't too bad if you can find one in your shade. But again, this is the Ivory to Fair 10. This is too deep for me. And um, I, I often run into that with drugstore foundations, unfortunately. So anyway, I have a snoring dog over there. Anyway, that's going to be it for my foundation review of the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. Let me know if you guys have tried this before. What are your thoughts? Um, I did have to add a little bit more concealer on my face, especially around my nose where my face is more red. Um, but... I ended up not minding that very much. I didn't like it when I first put it on. I ended up not minding it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out more than you probably know. And any comments you have is always appreciated down in the comment section. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and I do hope to see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.